False. The most common type of arthritis, osteoarthritis, does get more likely as we get older, but it commonly starts in people from their 40s onwards. Other types of arthritis affect people of different ages. For example, the peak age of onset for rheumatoid arthritis is 30 to 50 years, but people of all ages can develop the disease. And some rare reforms only affect children and adolescents. True, there are over a hundred different types of arthritis. The word arthritis means inflammation of joints, and this is what all types of arthritis have in common. But they have different causes, different symptoms and treatments, and different types affect different joints. Osteoarthritis is a form of degenerative arthritis, where overusing a joint in the wrong way causes damage. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune condition where the body's own immune system attacks different parts of the joint, causing inflammation and damage. Gout, another form of arthritis, is caused by a buildup of crystals that get stuck in the joint and cause an inflammatory reaction. True, there is no cure for arthritis as such, but there are treatments to manage and minimise symptoms. Some people do find long-term relief and are able to find a way to live free of symptoms altogether. An example of this would be people who manage to get rid of symptoms of osteoarthritis by losing weight, which alleviates joints such as knees or hips. For others, getting more active and getting stronger can give better support to weight-bearing joints, such as knees, hips and spine. But this will be considered remission of symptoms with lifestyle measures rather than cure. Some types of arthritis are temporary, for example, reactive arthritis, which is when the immune system overreacts to an infection, most commonly sexually transmitted infections or food poisoning, and it causes inflammation to joints. If the episode is not severe enough to cause long-term damage, then people can make a full recovery from this type. False. There may be some types of exercise that can exacerbate symptoms, and exercise may not always be possible if people are having a flare-up or a bad joint day, but over time and in the long run, the right types of exercise can and should be classed as part of the treatment for arthritis. For people with osteoarthritis, low-impact exercise like cycling, spinning and swimming has been shown to reduce pain and give back joint function for many. And some studies have actually shown patients choose to come off waiting lists for joint replacement surgery because they feel so much better. For inflammatory forms of arthritis, such as rheumatoid, being regularly active can reduce joint sniff stiffness and give relief. And it also helps, importantly, look after mental health. False. It's true that the genes you inherit from your parents may contribute towards your risk of some forms of arthritis, but genes are only a relatively small part of this. Other factors such as smoking, excess body weight, lack of physical activity, stress and joint injuries can all contribute, as well as your age and being female sex.